How's it going? Fox back again. Another Icarus tutorial. I'm going to be hammering this over the next few weeks to show you all stuff you can do. Today I'm going to show you how you can load serum wavetables into Icarus and then I'm going to make a growl. So initialize the patch. It's as simple as this. You want to navigate to where your serum wavetables are. By default, I believe it's in documents, Xver. Serum presets, tables. Let's choose one of the spectral ones. I mean, there is a tool inside here. Load wavetable 200 2048 samples Icarus Serum Falcon. You can click on that and then navigate to it, or just pick the one you want, hover over it, drag it in, push the fade on full. And then it's in there. Simple as that. Show you the other way. Load wavetable sample serum Icarus serum falcon. Click on it. Search for them. This PC documents Xfer serum tables. Let's go for evil long Reese. That's another one of my favourites. Open. Fades already on. Doesn't seem to do it so good as when you just drag it in, believe it or not. I don't know why. File. Init patch. Let's drag Evil Long Reese in. Fades on full. to wave to um, where's the spectral bit wave table pick for add you got all the same options as uh, inside serum just in this section apply morph sweep <laughs> You could undo. Let's try evil sweep. <laughs> As you can hear, the sound engine is awesome. So we've already got an LFO map to the wave. We're going to want to be modulating that. We're going to set uh, the mob wheel to control the rate later on. Let's change it to more of a parable. That's the shape I like to use a lot when I'm doing these sort of growls. As you can see, it's already re triggering. Let's set the same LFO to volume for oscillator 1, so it is LFO 1 plus volume 1. As this phase distortion square mode is sort of like you bend negative, you can see. So we'll set the same LFO 1 to go on that, which is morph 1. Let's get a bandpass filter on straight away. That's what I like to do with these sort of grabs. We use the same LFO. I like to use the same LFO to do all the work. Um, cut off one. Let's introduce some ripple distortion, which is quite severe. Let's introduce uh, two hyper stereo four. 
let's set the mob wheel now to control the LFO1 rate. Anything you can want to modulate is in it. We should give it a destination amount. Because um, the filters you can set in parallel and split them, we can have a dedicated sub. We're going to use oscillator 2, turn it on, change it purely to a sub. Uncheck oscillator one, 2 and 3 from filter 1. Filter 2, just oscillator 2. <laughs> Let's do the volume LFO1 on the volume for oscillator 2 as well, so it's sort of keeping that sort of pulsy feel. Let's use a little bit of cheap reverb. Duck. This is like a side chaining effect, it ducks it as the sound comes in. Watch for clipping, we'll turn the limiter on. Actually, we'll just, we'll just control it ourselves. So, we've still got another oscillator. Remember, three oscillators compared to Serums 2. Um, seen a couple of people do some uh, first look videos comparing this to Serum, saying it's not up to scratch. Well, I can, any any patch you can make in Serum, I would pretty much be able to make it in this. I know you're limited by the LFOs. Serum did only have four LFOs up to now. Um, step LFO being a very, very capable tool of sort of creating those groovy shapes. I've tried it before. I've made some, some of my patches in Serum and then transferred them to this. It's, it's virtually identical apart from the sound engine. Obviously, this is a lot crisper. I actually prefer it. So oscillator three, let's try bring in one of the monster. Actually, I'll bring in one of my own wave tables. Twenty five is one of my favourite ones. I'll solo this. We'll send it to the band pass. Um, it's oscillator three, isn't it? LFO one wave three we want this time. Let's set this a unison. Set the LFO one to do the volume of oscillator three as well. Volume three. Let's use a distortion wave again. Actually, this grunge one's pretty cool. Let's send this oscillator three to both. You, you got the flexibility to send either oscillator to either filter or both or whatever you want. Let's set that LFO one to wobble the cut off of two, which was a low pass filter as well. Bring in the other oscillators. for clipping again. That um, cheap reverb's giving it sort of a metallic-y twang. We're going to push the low cut up a bit. Don't want it to be sort of reverb in the sub. Not too sure about that grund one. Let's try the ring mark. Yep, let's apply that morph to the wavetable 
and then we can apply another one we're going to use a distortion square again which is like your band negative we'll set that to be done by the same LFO that is morph 3 You can apply distortion at then at the filter level. So the bandpass filter, we've already got the ripple on. Maybe it is a bit too severe. Let's just try saturation. Right. Let's try the saturate again on the low pass. Get some real edgy. Let's make it a little bit more. <laughs> what a bit of kit. What else can we do? We've got a multiband degrader, which is multiband distortion. Flip that mix around with the LFO as well. You've got control over the mix knobs in the effects parameters. So FX to mix. <laughs> to give it even more depth and beef, we can then add the smart unison. This is a bit. <laughs> quite CPU intensive but as you can see it's nothing compared to Serum. Let's add some more unison, let's add a force stereo on number three. <laughs> Very, very sub heavy. Uh, exactly what you want from these sort of things. If you want to cut it down, remember it was volume two is the sub. Just bring it down a bit. If we uh, try a different shape again, let's try the analog saw up. If you want a more stepping sort of transformery style, you could do analog sort down. <laughs> what a machine! So that is how easy it is to drag serum waveforms in and make growls. Multiband degrader really does add sort of a twang to it. And then the unison just pushing everything out even wider. You then got an EQ down here so you can really boost the bass, cut the highs. And all of these are modulatable as well. So you could have the mids starting at minus whatever it is, 6 dB. 
go LFO one plus and it is EQ mid so now it's flicking the mid EQ gain in and out there you go how to load serum wave tables into Icarus and make a growl very very easy very very simple uh, as always thanks for watching cheers